I'm Stacy, the mixed media and caustic artist behind Studio Stacy. If you are new around here, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Welcome back to another week in the studio. Starting on week nine of painting your view. This week's rather painting is a little bit different. Um, a little bit different than what I've been doing as it is not a nature one. So I'm kind of excited about doing that. Going back to my roots a little bit, if you will, and going to kind of do a more rustic vintage vibe with this one. The wax has been turned on and I've just done a really quick sketch. I'm gonna be focusing on the background. At least that's my plan, initial plan. We'll see how that goes. Uh, it may all change. But I wanted to keep this area, the it's actually a door, um, the door area pretty clear for when I put the image on it. I don't want like a bunch of um, texture and a lot of stuff going on in the background to take away from the image of the door. So I'm gonna focus mainly on the background and we'll see where it goes. quite a bit of um, blue on here left over from last week and so I'm just going to use it up on this background because I have a feeling that most of it's going to get covered up and if it doesn't it'll just add a little extra interest to the painting. Just picking out a few more colors to go out to go with that leftover blue and I then take and melt these paint colors down on the griddle and that just makes them into a liquid form so that I can then paint with them. I'm adding in various different shades of gray and some black and some white just to add a bunch of texture and interest to this background and of course I am fusing between each layer with that torch. Like I said earlier, I wanted to give this painting a more rustic uh, vintage feel. So I'm really kind of roughing it up and adding a bit of grunge to it, filling in all those nooks and crannies from the wax, the texture that I created with the wax. And then you'll see me add in some graphite and the graphite kind of brings out the bumps in it while this fills in the holes and the texture. The graphite fills up the, or catches the, rather the edges of everything, the top layer of everything. And then of course I fuse all of that together. So here is what the piece looks like so far. I'm going to call this good for the day and we will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys. I am up in the studio. The wax is turned on, getting ready to put some more layers on this painting from yesterday. And I wanted to show you the light outside and the sunrise because it's really pretty. Um, don't mind the dirt on the screens. <laughs> they are also quite dirty and um, need cleaned, but you know, art's more important. <laughs> and I also wanted to show you the light in the backyard because it's just going to be a really pretty day here. Might get outside a little bit later. We'll see. But for now, let's get to painting.
I am adding in several more layers of paint and going back and forth between adding the paint in and torching and then scraping back to reveal some of the layers underneath. And pretty soon I run out of the white encaustic paint. So I thought now would be a good time to show you how I mix my paint. I start with the clear encaustic medium and I just add that into my tin containers that are right on the griddle. And then from there, I add in some white pigment and I get this from a place called Earth Pigments and it's a titanium white pigment. And then I just do a small scoop in each container and stir, stir, stir until it's thoroughly mixed up. I am really happy with how this background came out. So I added the image down and now I'm just going in and adding in some small details with some Durant Inktons pencils and a small encaustic brush along with some encaustic paint and just really kind of finishing everything off. This painting is pretty much done. I'm going to um, turn off the wax and um, start some dinner and then this painting is gonna sit <laughs> for a little bit while I um, just make sure it's completely finished before I clean everything up. Um, I like to kind of, if I'm not completely sure, let them sit just briefly before I put all the paint away and forget what colors I've used and things like that. So I'm going to put it on what I call my timeout easel and that way I can take a look at it over the next couple days. I um, have a couple appointments coming up so um, I think this is going to be it for the painting portion of this week but um, we'll see if I get back to this or not. We have all of the um, pans out this evening for dinner making burrito bowls tofu burrito bowls and uh matt here is in charge of the veggies do not try this at home goodness gracious this makes me nervous every time he does this <laughs> there you have it doesn't that look yummy breakfast burrito or not breakfast that's a snip <laughs> Cut! Hold on! Stop! Rewind the tape! <laughs> this is dinner. Oh, good grief. <laughs> dinner burrito bowls. Yummy yum! Back up in the studio today, and this painting is still sitting on the timeout easel, I'm trying to decide um, if I'm going to add anything else to it or take the tape off of it and call it done took the day off yesterday from painting and we actually went and got our COVID vaccines. Who would have thought would be so excited about getting a shot, but um, maybe this means we can start to slowly get back to quote unquote normal, whatever that might look like. So um, yeah, let's see where this painting goes today and we'll go from there. Again, since I'm going with a more rustic vintage feel for this painting, I have an old card catalog that is full of different vintage pieces parts off of doors. So I thought this might be appropriate to perhaps place one of these on the painting. So I take and I addition a couple pieces. I pick out a piece and now you might be wondering how you get metal to stick to an encaustic painting. And I do this by simply drilling a hole, scary, but it's secure into the painting and secure the metal piece onto it. I think this is where I'm going to end this video. 
And I do believe that this painting is now done. Thought I'd show you a couple quick close-ups. There's that little piece of hardware that I added. And some of the texture in the background. And of course that little climbing rose that's so pretty. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did and wouldn't mind, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, it would help me out so much if you would subscribe. And if you are subscribed and aren't getting notified, if you hit that little bell down there, it will notify you every time I release a new video, which is usually on Tuesdays. So again, thanks so much for coming along. If you have any questions about anything, just leave them down below in the comments and we'll see you next week. Bye for now. Thank you.